Aberdeen Hong Kong Cafe in Makati was opened on December 2015 by Mr. Chow Chan, a Chinese lawyer from Saskatchewan, Canada, who made the Philippines his home in 2014. Before setting up his restaurant, he was on cable TV as a restaurant critic for Chinoy TV, as he is a foodie, loves cooking, and has a bold personality. Guys, this is one of our newest and best discoveries this year. The restaurant was named after the town of Aberdeen, located on the southern side of Hong Kong Island, a historic area known to be the original Hong Kong, as it was the first harbor European explorers set foot on and is famous for its floating village and floating seafood restaurants. This 19-seater restaurant is reminiscent of all those hole-in-the-wall restaurants in Hong Kong serving up absolutely delicious Cantonese fare. We have already been here on numerous occasions, but on our first visit, we had a chance to sit down and meet Mr. Chow Chan. How are you? My name is Chow, and welcome to the... Um, uh, first of all, uh, you are now a Hong Kong people because you are, you are sitting in, in the uh, land of Hong Kong. This is the body Hong Kong style Chinese food. Now, I have over 30 years of food experience and I'm from the States and Canada. And I've been served a lot of uh, uh, presidency, the Queen and whatnot, you know, when they, when they were visiting States and Canada. And uh, for the food business, and I still, I have, I have uh, my cooking show uh, in Canada for over 20 years. And besides the Chinese cooking, and I was trained, I was trained in French food, and because I love food and all kind of food, I like, I like it. So, but, but my final thing I like is most that what I like is the Chinese because I'm Chinese. That's why. Right. And why Chinese food is a is very healthy, and you have a lot. You can use all different kind of uh, a food. I mean, like chicken, beef, uh, seafood, and then to create a very different kind of flavor. Like when you say Chinese food, we have two two big category. One is northern China, one is southern China. The northern China, because because the the crabbing there, the weather is very cold. That's why the northern Chinese food is spicy and oily. Now nowadays, especially in Manila, Makati, a lot of northern Chinese food because because of the the business or Nanye. They have a lot of people from northern China. That's why the food is very spicy and and, and oily. This is not that we are from Southern China. Southern China, because the weather is very nice, and you, you have, it's, it's not that cold. And going back to about 50, 60 years ago, is the vegetable is all seasonal. You have autumn, uh, winter, spring, and summer. In all these kind of seasons, you have different kind of vegetable. That's why you have a lot of, uh, of varieties and different way to prepare the food. So the conclusion is Southern China, the food is more mild and it's more tentative, more colorful, the kind of chicken. Northern Chinese food is, they don't, they don't have too much choice. That's why it's very spicy and hot. And why do they like it? I mean, spicy hot, that's the way to keep themselves warm in, in the cold weather. So when you talk about Chinese food, when you talk about you are the expert, you ask me, what is Chinese food? What's the difference? So this is the two different things, Northern and South. You're now sitting sitting in the rice land, apart in Hong Kong Chinese food places, we serve the Southern Chinese food, it's my, okay? So if you ask me what kind of dishes I like, of course I like everything, because I'm the one to create the menu here. But for the beginner, when you come in to try our food, I would say that, you know, um, try, um, you like seafood? I would say that if you like shrimp, uh, we have uh, our uh, beaching prawns, and then you, we also have the steam uh, shrimp and the fish. And today, I, I'm going to recommend you to try our salt and pepper, a sort of seafood, which is with the prawns, with the salmon, and with the squid. And I also would like you to try one 
one dish is a little bit spicy well, with chicken okay we call that uh, pigeon chicken and then our our camp toe beef brisket is phenomenal and also the lamb so I'm going to have a few dishes every taste it and you take a picture and, and then you show you show the people I mean our Filipino people Filipina right and see what they like and this is what I always say do my favor if you like the food you tell your friends but if you don't like it you tell me upon okay. sitting you may okay. request okay. for a complimentary hot tea there are so many good dishes to try in the menu, so we suggest you first start off with the soup. Chow says if you don't like the soup, you don't have to pay and you can just leave. The slurpingly good soup will draw you in to try some more of his exciting dishes. We would highly recommend the... Herbal chicken and wild mushroom soup, beef kamto hot pot, Thai pan beef, salt and pepper squid, shrimp toast, Beijing ribs, Sichuan chicken, broccoli with chicken, Beijing tofu, Pan Pan Eggplant Hot Pot Bean Curd Vegetable Roll Shrimp Paste with Squid and Celery Sliced Beef with Ampalaya Imported Celery with Garlic Century Egg with Garlic Spinach Vegetable Delight Stuffed Ampalaya Seafood Ho Fan Salted Fish and Chicken Fried Rice Spinach Seafood Soup Hot and Sour Soup Westlake Beef Soup Shantong Prawns Oyster Cake Yang Chow Fried Rice Coral Shrimp Fried Rice Fujian Fried Rice Steamed fresh shrimp, salt and pepper salmon, watercress native chicken herb soup, shark's fin and ham hock soup, and for refreshments, Hong Kong style milk tea and cool honey lemon juice with French toast for dessert. That's nice. The broth is flavorful and there is something. The Chinese herbs? Yeah, something that they never felt. I don't know what it's It's good flavor. Even broth is so tasty. Flavors coming from the wild mushroom are just so deep, and it takes eight hours to make. They can only do ten, uh, ten orders of this soup each day. So make sure to try this. Wow. signature dishes. It's supposed to be a little bit spicy from northern China. Mm. The beef is extremely tender and super flavorful. I will definitely order that on my next visit. All the food's been amazing thus far. I have yet to spot a weak dish here. Wow. So I'm about to try their salt and pepper squid. Mmm. A very nice level of crunch and your seafood here is very fresh and it's very nice with their seafood fried rice which is made with a very special soy sauce apparently I'm 
Try the shrimp paste, shrimp and squid. Try a piece of shrimp paste. Mm. It's very fresh, the shrimp. Let's try the squid now. I love squid tentacles. Wow. That's perfectly cooked, very crunchy. In terms of the shrimp paste, it's not so salty, but extremely flavorful. And I love that it's served with celery. Wow. This is an excellent dish.
Wow, that oyster cake is massive. That's how you can tell it's so fresh. Nice, that could be. Probably already my tenth visit here. I just love the food, and I'm here with Chow. He just got back from Macau, and look what he scored. This is this is the, the very authentic. Why we have a very nice soup is because we use all first class grade A stuff, like Chinese ham. We call it kama photo okay? Kama photo I brought the whole thing here. Okay, when you make soup, you put this. Also, we have the oyster, and hey, look at this. Beans. Okay, the soup, and then the oyster. Now that's the good stuff. Make sure you give me a call when it's uh, when yeah. it's ready. Okay, and then the oyster, oyster. And then we have the dry abalone. Okay, so when when we have the soup, we have the uh, shark beans and uh, abalone and the hams. These ones already. You don't have to go to Hong Kong. So then uh, we have all these. Look at this. Nice and fresh. Uh, what do you call that? The well, snail is a small one. This is bigger than that. What do you, what do you call it? Big? It's a sea, sea snail? Yes. Okay. Abalone. It's not abalone. Well, a kind of. Okay, mm -hmm. a kind of abalone. So this is very good to make soup. Okay? Yeah. And it's quite costly. So that's why we have it, but you have to come try every day, okay? <laughs> with randomly. I'm not going to tell you which day it is. Look at the shark's but one thing is that the price will be the same. We, we are not 
change your place if, if a shark spins or if it's a bologna, no. Every day is the same, okay? The, and the soup size is, is good for two to four persons. It's good. All right. Thank you. Got you got that? <laughs>